What's in, what's in, what's in? In this bitch kicking cacks and cool. You know what I'm saying? Finna check out this whole ass nigga, uh, Joe Budden. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully he get destroyed by this, uh, Nicki Minaj and shit like that. Y'all already know I'm fucked up right now, so. Pardon me, you know what I'm saying? Pardon the crap, you dig? But, uh, hey, real quick though, right? Two things. Number one. I don't want to see nobody talk about, oh, you check out the whole thing, because I'm not finna sit here for no two plus hours. You feel me, though? You feel me, though? So, knock that shit off. Uh, uh, second thing, I'm starting to see a lot of these niggas who I had to call my sons copy in a crib format, though. You know what I'm saying? It is copy in a crib format. Like, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Always gotta have some sons around. Always gotta have some. I knew I shouldn't have busted these bitches, my nigga. I knew it. Because these niggas is coming out here, my nigga, with these beauty supply motherfucking bandanas and shit, nigga. Like, they really with the shit. But, anywho, let's check this shit out. Could drop me a comment? Let me know what the fuck you think. And uh, say what's up to my sons for me. You feel me? Do you think something is wrong with me? Yeah, you beat them. Can I talk? Can I answer that? Yes, please. Yes. <laughs> Tell me what you, oh shit, Barb's in the background. Tell me what, <laughs> tell, tell me, yeah, the bar, this Barb's behind me. That, them niggas, they gonna need a ride somewhere one day. Uh, oh, whatever, see, you listen, being, tell you me, so tell sarcastic. Me, tell, me, um, tell me what you think think is wrong with me. Let's let's hash think, it out before I we get to the good you, stuff. I, all right, let me, let me be honest. I think that you, you a are. Bitch. Jealous of you. A big baby. Okay. I don't know if you are an only child or a middle child. I don't know what it is, but I think you are a big baby. I think you never like to be wrong, and I think whenever somebody calls you out on your shit, you have a temper tantrum. We've seen you have so many temper tantrums, Joe, and it's not, and it's the truth. And people put up with your shit because you are a great rapper. So I feel like rappers take more of your shit because. I love this breakdown. Because this is, this because awesome. they they respect you as a rapper. That's why you think they take yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, I personally do think a lot of t a lot of times people take some of your people take your shit because we know you're a dope rapper. But it but doesn't I'm, give you the right to treat rappers like peons. Is that do you think I do that? When you're on your show talking about us, yes. And I think that's I think I think that you never like to be wrong. I think you need to always surround yourself by weak women. But I could be wrong. Like I'm not even trying to be disrespectful. I just think it sounds men like, like you're sending shots at women that I frequent. No, 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 I'm not. Am uh, I what, off no. am I off in my assessment? I'm, I, I think This it, is the fourth time she's made that that reference. So I have that's to not ask true. Where you're, where do you get that from? Uh, first of all, well, let me just. I don't. I, I talk to these niggas most of the time. Okay, but I'm just saying I don't think that you are used to having powerful female voices around. Okay, uh, that right. excludes your mom or your grandma. Of I'm course. talking about women that peers. Your peers, exactly. Okay. I don't think you're used to having strong women who are going to battle you down or argue you down oh, about yeah, things. Yeah, they could get a whole lot of people on Go ahead now, queen. Yeah, okay, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. And my thing is, even when we catch you in a lie or something like, oh, you did say it, you still won't just say, damn, you know what, I did say it. Maybe at that moment, you know whatever, what? whatever. But you won't give me that. And, that, and Miss, I know that you know women, and we need to get that. Miss, we need to have that. Okay. Miss Minaj, my co-host seemed to say the same thing about me from time to time. <laughs> Which is why I wasn't shocked that you guys got along the way you did. Mm. <laughs> okay. Uh, listen, so I'm open, I'm open to being wrong. Let's, let's have this dialogue here that I, that I would have liked to have had. Thank you. Let's clarify some things. And, and let me preface all of this with, I don't care. I'm shocked that you care. That's crazy. Listen, this is where you don't was, care this, about what, and then I'll tell you what what I care about. Oh. I don't care. What you beat on bitch. I don't have the energy to try to figure out what happened on motorsport anymore. Like that was a but that's that was unfair a big, because if somebody well, finish, speaks on you, well, let me finish. Let me finish. Okay. That was a big deal. In it was a big deal to me because I was the one being lied on, and that's what you need to understand. Of course it's not going to be a big deal to you because you, in passing, just said something about someone and it, it just was one of those things that you said in your show and it went and, and next, next, on to the next. If someone 
if I'm the subject of that lie, of course it matters to me. Now, did I care about it every when me and you have been texting or whatever? Is, am, is, am I walking around mad at Joe Button? No. Me out for, to, uh, you've cursed me out quite a few times about I've only this. cursed you out once. I say more than that, but... I've only cursed you out once. Okay. I've I'll only take, cursed you out once, and today well, twice. twice. would be today, right? Twice, <laughs> right. But what I'm saying is I, I can understand you thinking, like, what's the big deal? But when I play back audio of you saying something that you just said you didn't say, and you still won't even give me that and be like, oh, damn, you're right, I did say that, then that that's a little crazy. That would be correct, Miss Minaj. You would be absolutely correct. When you stop the audio on Queen Radio, what I was attempting to say was, no, I 100% believe that you knew who was going to be on this song. Oh, you do? Okay. And I thought I later furthered that point on the show that you referenced by saying, I don't think that you knew that verse was going to sound like that. First of all, can, you, can you reply to me? Because, because you... I understand that I'm the guinea. I, I in am, order for me to, in order when I when I am on a song, meaning when you hear it, I've heard it. So so let the world know. Let y'all understand how shit works. There isn't a song in the world that Onika Tanya Mirage is on that I, I have to I have to clear every record, which means I have to hear every record I'm on. Okay, did you, Joe. Did, did you change anything about about that verse after you heard the? whatever the last product, the final product was from her? Because we said that too, that it sounded like some things might have been off. So let me, before I answer that question, because I don't have a problem with answering that question, I want to go on record having both of us acknowledging the fact that you, for a long time, you and your sidekick said that y'all don't believe Nikki knew about the verse was on the song, and now you're saying you just think maybe I didn't hear the final product. We said that then too, but yes, uh, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll so, come to so that. let's that make it so. So I just want to clarify. I knew the you verse was on the song. On the no, we not. I'm, a, I'm about to hang up on him. I knew the verse was on the song. I hate that I'm even giving this stupid fucking song this much attention. That's it's what really, I'm asking you. It was really you. about you. That's what and I'm that's asking thing. you. Was, like, no, no, no. You, it was really like, about you because. This is what everybody on live needs to understand. It wasn't about the song. It was that you did it with that song, and then you did it with this song, uh, Hot Girl Summer, which is, Trash. even though you didn't say it like in a mean way, even with Hot Girl Summer, you said, for Nikki to go on live with Shorty, I believe that the song is already coming. I think Nikki's a little bit more calculated than that, and I think that that's, that, that's kind of like bullshit. I don't think that the song isn't done or it's not already being in the works when Nikki go went on live. And I said, hello, Joe, no, it's the actual truth. Nothing was in the works. Mm -hmm. I wasn't asked to be on the song That's before that live. That. That's true. None of, so I just want to let you know, this is the second time I did a record where a female was on the record where you put something out in the world that is basically saying Nikki's lying. So it's not about the song. It's not about the person. It's just about, I think... For whatever reason, you think I throw? All right, I got it. You, th I got it. I fucking figured it out by what you said just now and what I was able to hear through the Apple crack doors after I was escorted off the premises. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, go ahead. It sounds like you think I give you unfair criticism because of maybe a prior relationship or like. It just sounds like you think I treat you unfairly. Yes, I Wom think that women you hate. You think I hate women? No, you and I don't know because like, I don't. I don't watch enough to know. I just hear and see what you say about me. So when I make a statement and then you uh, negate what I've said, then it's basically painting me out to be a liar. I don't like that. I take offense to that. Okay. I'd rather you go in there and say Nikki's a bitch. I would Nikki's, never. Nikki's uh, uh, always, you know, she's would, habitually that's late. Disrespectful. She's this or that. Well, like, I don't nice. care. It's certain things about myself. If somebody says that about me, I know who I am. I'm not mad at who I am. But the lying thing, it does get, I, I am going to take it personal. If two times I did a song with a female and you put out a narrative that wasn't true, and then when I said it's not true, you still don't believe me. So you have to understand that there are people that are going to believe you. Now they're thinking, oh, this psycho bitch just begin up on her platform lying. And I just want you to understand that that's not okay. And when people say, oh, you shouldn't care, or you or, or you in, in your feelings, bitch, fuck you too if you think that I'm in my feelings or I'm whatever the fuck you think, because 
I am me. I'm a human being, and I and I have to defend myself because there's nobody else out there defending Onika Tanya Mirage. So I have to defend myself. Your husband will defend you. Don't do that. My husband's gonna you defend me, but my husband of, is not a public that's, that's figure. What I'm so you have, all you have I was an saying, team of people that all will I was saying, you. no, that's not true. All I was saying, I'm about to turn it off because I know this is his, your show, and we want to make it exclusive. But I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Yeah, I just. I don't give y'all hate me. I just. <laughs> I, I don't think my, my fans don't hate you either, and that's the point. Yeah, yeah, I just want to show that, like, s- my thing is, I know you guys are going to speculate. That's what that's what media does. You you guys speculate, y'all have fun. It's it is what it is. But when I come out and, and actually say, hey guys, this is exactly what exactly what happened. And then you basically say, nope, I know Nikki. I know she went to the... <laughs> it makes me look like a fucking psycho, is Let's, all I'm saying. That's a, all. Here's a question. And you did you. it with two songs, with two female rappers, and that's why people have the narrative of Nikki and female rappers. Certain people in rap, gatekeepers or people, if y'all keep on doing that to me, y'all are pushing that narrative. Do you believe, do you believe that there are gatekeepers in hip-hop, and do you believe that members of the media are some of them? Of course, yes. Well, Who else would I, be the I, gatekeepers I, I, of, of hip hop? You, you gentlemen, so, yeah. you gentlemen, you barbs chime in and tell me how y'all <laughs> how y'all feel about. Do y'all think that media members are gatekeepers? Definitely, uh, not all, mm-hmm. not all. I think so, hundred percent. Well, can we hold on? Hold on. Can, we defi- can we define gatekeeper at this point? Because because steering the narrative and creating an opinion to me is not a gatekeeper. Because people online are going to believe what they want to believe. That's not so true. I, I don't know if so, I could say that's a So you really trying to tell me that when I, I you really trying I'm to tell Rory me that, that when he went out and started saying that thing over and over about the motorsport thing, him and his sidekick, that that didn't make millions of people start believing something untrue about me? As as I much think, as I'd like my friend to have that much influence, I I don't think Well, then that's you the are case. psychotic too. I well, don't think that's the case. When someone has a show that's being broadcast to people, they have a voice of and course. they and they and they can uh, in, influence, in, uh, yeah. influence the way people think about other people. And if I'm not sitting in the room to defend myself, they then they that. turn off their radio and that's what the fuck they run with. Okay, cool. I, I agree, you, I agree with that? you on that point, but to the term gatekeeper and really shifting what's going to happen, I can't say that Joe and academic. He is the one on that complex. put it out. He is the first one that put it out. No, Nobody I, I, else. You're missing my point you, of what I'm saying. I'm saying the gatekeeper of really shifting how things move that does shift things how, pe- how things move when, when you lie on someone and, wait, and you do it. And before y'all continue, let me just wow. say gate, how do you not gate, get the point? gatekeeper, and then y'all can continue this debate. Gatekeeper to me means someone who can either allow or deny access to this industry. Yeah. And I don't necessarily view media that way, Nick. So tell me well, why, why you, you do y'all, well, both I think, y'all I think y'all what Nikki, I think what she's saying is you can start a narrative. If you have a big and enough platform, and that's exactly what he did. I, I, I if you agree, have a big enough platform that. where you you reach certain viewers and listeners, once you put something out there, that conversation now starts in different areas. This is my especially if people respect your opinion. Yes, right. and it takes on a life of its own, and then it keeps on being repeated and repeated. And if I don't defend myself, then he's right. If I do defend myself, I'm the angry black woman. Mm. My issue with the heat, black girl tragic, my... and it's black bitches that do do it the most. And I don't give a fuck if y'all mad at me using that fucking Nick, hashtag. That's offensive. Hashtag. Excuse me? You want to talk about ex- uh, offensive? <laughs> I try you? not to be offensive. You try not to I'm be offensive. Not offensive. But see, that's the thing. When you, if, if I guess it's, I guess it's okay to hurt someone if you think they're famous or rich or popular or something like that. It's okay to offend them. It's okay to bully them. But oh, but everyone else, Nicki we gotta Minaj. walk. Everybody else, we gotta walk on eggshells for. We can't offend this one. We can't offend that one. We can't offend this one. Man, fuck that! I said what the fuck I said. Period. Just like every day you go and do a show, you said what the fuck you said. And you offend many people. You said what the fuck you said. If they tell me I offend them, I apologize. I'm not huh? here to offend. I'm not here to offend. So then why you couldn't just do that back at Queen Radio? I said I said it many times in so many different ways. I'm like, yo, I told the truth. I explained the story over and over. Let me and tell you, you why. The he that you the he is the part that I want to accentuate. You're saying me, and I understand that, because I've said a lot. Later in that motorsport debacle, other people said some things. So we weren't just pulling from. Wait, let me finish. We weren't me, me and my uh, what you call him, Chipmunk. Me and academic weren't just pulling out of osmosis. <laughs> P- 
people, keyword niggas later hear, on, niggas keyword, can, keyword yeah, later, later on, yeah, there we go, later on. you yeah. and him were the first ones to start the narrative. So how can you not understand that there's an issue? Cardi is not getting her information from academics and myself. What? You know what I mean? Like, she's not taking nothing that we say. Like, she was involved. She went on. I don't give a fuck about what the fuck she think or who she got information from. I'm talking about you speaking to the public. So do you suggest that we not that we not speculate? No, I said there are things that you speculate about. I said, but once I come out and say, hey, guys, this is how it happened. But why can't people not believe you? Not me, but I'm saying why can't people? Do you, do, do you relinquish that right when you sign up to be in the spotlight? Don't you relinquish the right of people having to believe you or not? Absolutely, but you... Also have to know that there are some times that, that people like myself will do things like what I did today, which is get fucking sick and tired of it, have had enough of it, and speak to you directly Nick, or, or address it at directly. At 8.10 this morning, I said to Rory, listen, Nikki is going to yell at me. <laughs> Nothing was surprising about what happened in Good, here. I'm glad. My whole thing is... You seem to be missing the point. And I think it's easy for people to pretend like, oh, it's not that big of a deal. Nobody's paying me any mind. Um, no, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a show, but I mean, people are making up their own. Y'all know damn well that you are influencing people's opinions when you say things about a particular person over and over, especially when it's the same kind of thing about that person. So that's why I brought up the, the Hot Girl Summer song. I was mm -hmm. like, here we go again. I'm collaborating with a female Again, and there's already from you some some new lie that you're putting out there. You may not realize that it's a big deal, but it is. In Joe's defense, he gave you a lot of credit for your last album on this same platform. Like he's he's also giving you your flowers. Yeah, I, I, listen, man. And and what we talked we talked about it on Queen Radio, and I guess we'll just re say it here, which you acknowledge as well that you didn't think we were being negative with it. We thought it was a genius way to roll out a song. And that's why, because we give your brain credit on how you have put your brand out there. We thought it was a really good way to roll out a record. We thought you and Meg getting on there talking y'all shit was amazing. It, it got really all the buzz. Big of a I deal. didn't say, I, and, and again, I said that y'all didn't say this one in a negative way. Mm. But the first time him and his sidekick did it, it was extremely well, negative. Okay. It was extremely shit, negative. So now, when you do something like that to someone, their guards have to go up because now it's you like. You don't know that it, I love you? It, but, but to I me, said that to you on many a uh, phone calls that we've had in private, and still you treated me so horribly up there. I don't feel like I treated you horribly up here. I feel like I feel like I feel like you didn't even want to allow me. You didn't even want to allow me to. I don't think I ever had a nigga cut my mic off in my <laughs> life. In my well, life. You, I don't think that you were trying to understand <laughs> that it's not okay to, and we'll, and I'm just gonna leave it at this because I don't want to be the dead horse. I feel like well, at a certain level it gets a little bit personal, and that's what it is. Like sometimes it can feel. A, like a personal attack. I would like I, us to start there. Okay. I know that we begin with a motorsport conversation, but honestly, for me, our phone call, our phone calls, and and me doing your shit, you doing my shit. This, there are such grand, there are amazing things happening in the ecosystem, and I think that this meeting between you and I, both at your shit and at my shit, is really important to note. Mm -hmm. right now my mm -hmm. focus isn't on motorsport my focus isn't on anything of old to be honest i think that you're in a different space i think that and i've had to dig myself out of that space see what y'all don't understand is I, I, what y'all don't understand is behind all that other stuff it's a human being and when there's a big hate train and that people like you and Charlemagne and people like that are We're gonna spearheading. We're going to get to that. Mm -hmm. That nigga Joe Budden a bitch, my nigga. I don't take nothing this nigga uh, uh, say serious. I ain't heard pump it up, nigga, since I watched nigga You Got Served, my nigga. And that's just straight facts, cuz. But, uh, yeah, this nigga hella timid. I swear, nigga, her husband must have been in the background because this nigga's a pure bitch, like... <clears throat> I just don't want to hear what no nigga got to say, my nigga, who either. They try to intimidate females, my nigga, put the hand on females, my nigga. I'm more about, nigga, B 
bitch slapping grown men, nigga, not stumping down women, my nigga. So I just can't fuck with Cub. But I don't agree with a lot of shit that Nikki was saying, you know what I mean? But that's not my job to agree with her, you know what I mean? She got her own opinion, and I respect her motherfucking opinion, but I do not expect, respect the, uh, the bitch nigga, though. Like, nah, 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 nah. You know what I mean? And when I say I disagree, just off the rip that <clears throat> Joe Budden has no voice. Let's just, if you wake up in the morning to listen to a nigga like Joe Budden, my nigga, you have no life. Clearly kill yourself, my nigga. If these weird cornball, goofy ass niggas couldn't steer a nigga in the right direction of believing some nonsense, number one, you was never a fan. Number two, you don't have no mind for your own. And number three, my nigga, kill yourself because you listen to a nigga named Joe Budden, my nigga, like, the nigga who criticizes other niggas' music because he is not able to make music no more. Last time Joe Budden had a sold out concert, sold uh, records, anything like that, no. Anywho, drop me a comment, let me know what the fuck you think.